today's video is about to show you my improvement from a generator that had 1,800 running watts to a 2,200 running watts, uh, 2,500 peak. This is gonna solve my power issue uh, since I added the Minn Kota. I need at least 400 more watts to run the uh, Minn Kota charger uh, while I'm an anchor using the AC, uh, the ice machine and all that. So I needed a little bit more power, but with this generator, I'm gonna run it now and try it to see if it's gonna run everything. And also something very important, if it fits here inside the uh, tray that I built, then I'll be able to keep it. If it doesn't fit in that tray, then I'm probably gonna have to return it. Also, it came with a funnel, which is great. This one is the same brand as that one, Westinghouse. This is 2500 peak power, 2200 running. And this one is 1800 running, 2200 peak. The peak is the amount of force that it takes to get your equipment started. Like the fridge, it has a peak uh, of starting, which is pretty high. And air conditioners also have a peak. So that's why you need the higher peak. Now I know this is gonna be a lot more power, but before I add oil and fuel to it, I need to make sure it fits right there in the uh, platform that I built. Okay, in order for this to fit, I need to modify this little corner. I'll be able to get that with the router and get it uh, fixed up. Okay, I think that little indentation right there is gonna do it. This right here be perfect all right it fits perfect and it's well strapped so it's not gonna fall off all right I'm gonna get it started see how it runs can remove this lid here. All right, there it is. And this is where the oil is going to go. And that is great that they provided the oil and also the funnel. And it is four-stroke oil. And how you place this oil is whenever you see it coming out of the uh, port there, that means it's full. is back on and I'm gonna add some fuel all right I didn't fill it up all the way just put enough maybe like more than half of the tank all right so what I'm gonna do first is take it off the economy on to off put it on choke I'll put it to run and now I'm gonna turn the economy mode so you can see how quiet it is it is more quiet than this one here let me show you here let me show this one off okay, I'm gonna turn this one on so you can see what I'm talking about I 
I noticed the difference. I'm gonna turn this one on so you can see what I'm talking about. It is about probably 10% more quieter than the other one. Listen to the muffler here. This one has a louder muffler. And right now I'm really close to both of them. And I can tell you this one is louder than this one here. So definitely this is a quieter unit. Okay, I'm gonna shut this one off. And now I'm gonna shut this one off so you can listen to the difference on the other one. And both of the mufflers are facing away from the camera. This one that way and the other one this way. Definitely this one is a lot more quieter. So now we're gonna connect it. It's telling right now the generator, it can run right now 10 hours and 30 minutes on half a tank, but there's no load on it. So we're gonna start putting some loads on it. All right, inside the cabin, what I have is the espresso machine, the air conditioner, and the inboard charger of the Minkota is on, but it's not pulling any wattage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the air conditioner blower on, and now we're gonna turn the air conditioner on. See, with the air conditioner on, I cannot hear the generator out there that much. Very little. Oh wow, so quiet. With the air conditioner on, it's only on 25% load. Now the old generator is only 3.0 horsepower. This one is 3.4 horsepower. The engine is a lot bigger, a lot more horsepower. So that's why the generator is not killing itself, trying to get power to the air conditioner, which is awesome. See how quiet it is here? And right now with 25% load of the air conditioner running, half a tank is showing us that it could give us nine hours of running time on half a tank. But check this out, it has a couple of more features. Right now, if you press it once, it gives you the power output in kilowatts. And the fuel level, press it again, it tells you that it has 2.0 liters of fuel. And then when you go to V, it shows you the voltage that it's throwing. Right now, the voltage is 123. And if you press it again, it gives you the running hours. It's gonna record here for your maintenance, all the hours the generator has which is awesome. Now this one, when I have the air conditioner on, is like 50% load. By this one being a bigger engine, you only have 25% load because the engine is bigger. Now, now, the biggest test is running the air conditioner and the espresso machine, which I could not do on the older generator. Let's see if this one can handle it. So right now it's just grinding the beans. It doesn't take a lot of power to do that. Let's see now the new generator which is running at 25% load let's see here we go okay the espresso machine turned on and it went up to 50% load that is awesome that I can run my espresso machine and my air conditioner and only have 50% load with this one it will trip the breaker on the generator so definitely this one is not as much power is the new one. Let's go check it outside. Now you can hear a lot more of the noise of the generator. Right now, we're at 50% load. Okay, 50% load. All right, it looks like the coffee machine stopped. So it was 50% load with the espresso machine. Now that is awesome that I can run my air conditioner and my espresso machine, my inboard charger, all my appliances inside the pilot house. I can run now with this generator. My two biggest appliances here that draws a lot of power is the air conditioner and the espresso machine. So 
this charger here is only 400 watts probably and the ice machine is only like 100 watts so I'll be able to run everything in the pilot house with this smaller new generator the reason this generator is a little smaller is because they reduce the fuel tank this one is 1.3 and this one, the new one, it's only 1.0. So by the engine being bigger, it saves a lot more fuel than a smaller engine. So now I can be off the grid with no problem in my boat and run all my appliances with no issues, three or four days, whatever it takes. This is gonna be a better upgrade for the boat. In one of the last videos, I was showing you guys that I could not run all my appliances and I had to do one at a time, like the coffee machine or the air conditioner uh, with this generator. If you want to find out a little bit more information about both of these generators, I will place the link in the description below so you can compare both of them. If you have one similar, you can compare them. And if you like this new upgrade for my boat, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and navigate safe.